What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Balance Perception YouTube channel. And today we are back with another upgrade for our 3D printers because they require a lot of work and a lot of maintenance and a lot of TLC. Um, if you guys saw the other episode where we upgraded our Ender 3, not the original one where we put on the um, direct drive extruder, well the direct gear extruder, the one where we upgraded it to the PEI sheet, we removed the Ender plate that comes stock this thing was great for uh, maybe like a month or two, but then things just wouldn't adhere. So I sanded it, it worked a little bit better, but then things just wouldn't adhere. I was having trouble with it. Didn't want to do the tape, didn't want to do the glue stick. So I got a PEI sheet, put it down, printing like a charm so far. Hopefully I'll give you guys an update on that in, you know, a while because yeah, I need that to go well. Anyways though, that aside, we are doing the exact same thing on our CR-10 today. This is the build plate for the CR-10. And let me give you guys a size comparison. CR-10 Ender build plate, much, much larger. So much larger build volume, but we are gonna be putting on a PEI sheet today on our CR-10. I kind of jumped the gun and did a few things already, but I'll just walk you through what I've already done and we'll continue on the process. And just like we did with our Ender, we'll go ahead and do a quick test print and I will show you guys how all that comes out. So let's jump into it. <laughs> all right, guys, so here we have our CR-10. We have all of these screws and these were attached into said screws. It went like, well, tuh, screw that one. It went like this. <laughs> it went like this right in here. Well, this is the right one. It went right in here in this side and it hinges. So we have to remove these in order to put our CEI plate on, I mean, PEI plate on. And all it is is a screw that we just, you know, try to get out and make sure that you grip the bottom with like some needle nose pliers or something like that because there are these small nuts that are on the back of them and you don't want to just be twisting and twisting for hours and yeah you need to grip this to get them to come out so i have the front two out i have the back left one out now i have to take the back right one out so let me do that real quick Once you have all of the screws, you guys can see that, maybe not, but screws and the nuts out of one, two, three, four, five, six holes. Don't touch these right here, the four in the corners, leave those be. Once you have these out, make sure you save them because again, we have to put them back in. So now we're going to put them back in because we don't want our PEI sheet to dip. So just put them back in. All right, so we have all of our screws back in place now. We're gonna get ready to install the PEI sheet. Uh, hopefully you guys can see that, wait. Uh, you can kinda, you get the idea. It's basically the exact same as the one that we installed on our Ender. And this is 310 by 320. Make sure you get 310 by 320 if you have a CR10 V2, not a 310 by 310, as the 310 by 310 will be too small. So just to make sure we knew it fit, we're gonna go ahead and remove the magnetic plate from the surface of the sheet, boom, like so. This is what we will actually be printing on. Just gonna put that up there for now. And remember, we have this sticker here on the back that we have to get to adhere to this. I'm wearing gloves, as you guys can see, because remember, I am extremely paranoid and OCD about my beds because having them not level and then having things not stick is a pain in the ass. Our mixture is 100, I mean, it's 99% isopropyl alcohol with like 1% dish soap, just like Dawn, nothing, you know, crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that on here. I need to wash this, but anyways. <laughs> And we're just gonna wipe down our bed to make sure we get great adhesion. Wait. 
dropping it down. All right, that'll do. And then if you guys remember how we put these down is we want to peel a little bit, well, hold up. We want to peel a little bit of the sticker off, lay it down, and then slowly lay it down, you know, in whichever direction you're doing. I'm just going to do it this way instead of to the corner to try to make sure we do not get any air bubbles. So let's just go ahead. I'll show you guys. We're going to peel off a little bit of the sticker, maybe about that much. Fold it down. There we go. And then line this up. All right, so we have our plate down and show you guys, you just pick it up like so. This thing is stuck down. It is not coming up under any circumstances. So just to show you how we did that again, we just line it up here and it goes down like so. That's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and get our test print going. All right, so there you have it. The new PEI sheet is installed. Again, this is created by Hicktop, H-I-C-T-O-P. It's the same one that's on the Ender 3 over here. I just finished a print on my Ender 3. As you guys probably saw when the episode started, it was going, but I'm recording later. And I've started another print here on the um, CR-10. This is gonna be the bottom boot for my Lich King, and it's, adhering very well printing very well i have no complaints at the moment about it so very very simple upgrade that i highly highly recommend as again this glass plate is uh, like i said it was great at first but i don't know just something happened and the everything no longer stuck to it very easy upgrade not too expensive i think that plate cost me like 40 bucks 43 bucks something like that so of course i will link that for you guys below and if you have an ender 3 v2 definitely feel free to get the uh, pei upgrade again remember 310 by 320 not 310 by 310 anyways that's going to be everything for this episode thank you guys so much for checking it out i uh, just keep looking back because i like i don't know i'm just I have this thing where I just watch my printers. But anyways, thank you guys. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, as you guys remember, I'm trying to get to 500 by the end of this month. So please, please help me out. I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, stay balanced. See you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>